Hi Scorpio, welcome back. This is your mid-December check-in. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Also, don't forget to check out my links down in the description box below, my other YouTube, my merchandise. You can now also become a member. Thank you. All right, Scorpio. Overall energy is that of the Hierophant, which is talking about uh, blessings in this deck, okay? So being, um, I guess, cognizant of your blessings and having gratitude for uh, what you have and putting your energy and focus there. To me, the Hierophant also talks about commitments and um, staying committed to promises that you have made or staying committed to a relationship if you are in one might be highlighted um, during this time frame. For others of you, this speaks about spiritual connections that you have and um, sometimes we have to make commitments to our uh, the people we're spiritually tied with, even though we may not understand the purpose of that connection or we don't understand um, the lesson behind that connection. So interesting messages coming through right off the bat for you, Scorpio. And then as I say that, the next card that comes out is Complexicity, um, which is um, an interesting energy to get. So this is talking about, you know, being somewhat mystified, I, like I said, by connection in particular. Um, so for a lot of you, this reading is going to resonate for love, but it can be a connection anywhere in your life. It could be in work as well, family, friends. So keep an open mind. But this talks about uh, contradictions and um, complications and, you know, trying to put your finger on something that you can't quite put your finger on and... Um, needing some answers around that. So hopefully this reading helps give you some guidance um, there, Scorpio. Your overall December reading, if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it uh, because that reading talked about, you know, your, your soul already kind of being honed in and knowing the answer that you saw it. And so um, I kind of feel like a continuation of that reading uh, starting out here. Um, so you might find that helpful or it might give you some further insight. So let's get some more cards out, Scorpio, and see what all you have going on. So first card out is the Five of Cups. Scorpio, this energy is about, um, you know, focusing on things that you don't have as opposed to what you have, right? And let's go back to the overall energy was showing gratitude. So I actually feel this is a past energy, all right? And then kind of going more into um, the gratitude type of energy that I talked about at the beginning of the reading. And I feel like, you know, you, you really are wanting to be in control of your emotions, you know what I'm saying? And control of your world. Um, you're in a very dominating energy, um, which Scorpio, you're a dominating sign. Um, so I like this energy for you. Uh, I feel like this is someone who is wise beyond their years, Scorpio. And I feel that you've had, you know, losses in the past. But at the same time, you've learned a lot about other people. And most importantly, yourself through those experiences. And somehow that is connected to the overall message. So, let's see. Let's go a bit further for Scorpio. I have a childhood nursery rhyme song in my head. He's got the whole world in his hands. Got the whole world in his hands. That's playing in my head right now. <laughs> That's really uh, out of left field because I don't even know the last time I heard that song. Maybe when I was in nursery school. I don't know. Um. So that <laughs> it's it's this feeling of you know wanting to have the world in your hands or having the world in your hands. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody may have your world in their hands. Something to do with that. That song also, even though it's more of a religious song, on a spiritual note, that song talks about oneness with uh, the creator, right? 
there, it's talking about it's you know it's got the light shining in his eyes it's, he's got the whole world in his hands and it's speaking about uh, seeing the connection in in everything that we are and and everything that we come in contact with so um there is a deeper meaning to that song two of pentacles in the reverse you know, so I feel like if you had been vacillating, going back and forth, coming back around to the same issue, same problem, you know, I feel like you're ready to drop the ball there and not, not necessarily in a bad way, in a way of that you, you know, are ready to break loose of that energy. Um, it's also the infinity symbol in here, in this depiction, um, which there is no end, you know, in an infinity symbol, right? It just loops back around and then back around and then back around. Um, but it's in the reverse. So I feel like letting that loop stop, you know, even if it's just for a moment. All right. So now you have uh, the sun card. It actually came out like this and then it, whoa, okay. And then it flipped, now it flips twice. <laughs> so it flipped off of the table into the reverse and then I try to pick it up again to show you that it came out like this and then it flipped again to this. So I think that's what this back and forth is going, what is about, you know what I'm saying, Scorpio? It's about like um, connecting with your happiness and then disconnecting from it. Connecting to your happiness and then disconnecting from it. It's almost like a light switch. All right. And so I feel like that might have been the back and forth that you were feeling on an internal level, you know, thinking about what you have, being grateful for it, thinking about what you've lost and being stuck there. And I feel like, you know, you're, you're wanting to break that cycle. Okay. You're needing to break that cycle during this time period. Then you had the high priestess come out here. So this is connecting with your spirituality, your religion, if you're religious. This is connecting with uh, your higher self, okay, in whatever form that takes. This is, uh, you know, also talking about knowing more than you say, you know, um, looking for the deeper meaning into things. The high priestess is someone who reads between the lines, and I... And that's coming up in your energy. So I feel like you might be reading between the lines, um, trying to figure out uh, what you need to figure out because the December reading was about connecting with your intuition quite literally and putting together the, the pieces of um, why certain events occurred or why a certain person in particular is um, of importance to you. So I think that you may be... Um, connecting with that okay um like i said for a lot of you this is going to be a continuation of the last reading i did for you and here we are the seven of swords goodness gracious uh paired with the uh hermit so i feel like scorpio you know you're covering up the fact that you're really looking into something or someone, you know, really trying to figure it out. It's, it's, it's a mystery to you. And I feel that that's what intrigues you the most, right? Because Scorpio loves a good mystery, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Scorpios love to be intrigued. If a Scorpio isn't intrigued by you, you you don't exist to them, you know? Um, and I feel like that's what this is. Or you might be a mystery to someone else, okay? But it's falling in your energy, so I feel strongly this is you. And, you know, that's why you're maybe looking deeper into things. That's why maybe you're looking to read in between the lines, you know. Um, but again, you know, the Seven of Swords is kind of a sneaky energy. So, um, you know. Or it's, it's someone that doesn't want to be found out. So I feel like you're doing all of this uh under wraps you know you, you you're not wanting to uh let other people know that maybe you're really focused on this or you're kind of doing some research here or you know thinking deeply about this if nothing else 
But there, you know, Scorpio, there is a, going to be a light shown here on this situation. And I'll see what that's about. So now you have the King of Wands in the reverse. All right. Look at that. Look at this depiction here. That's a snake. <laughs> a big snake. Um, the Eight of Swords in the reverse. And the Devil in the reverse. I'm glad the Devil's in the reverse. So I, I feel like Scorpio, yes. You know... I feel like your energy is careful with this, okay? Um, because I feel like it's a very powerful energy that you're putting out. You know, very powerful. Whether you are doing it consciously or subconsciously. But it can also be a very stubborn energy and a very dark energy, you know? Um, so you could easily let your mind go to the dark side, Scorpio, for sure, during this time frame, or let someone take your emotions there, you know, so I feel like that's a caution for Scorpio. The good news is, is you're the eight of swords in the reverse and the devil in the reverse. So I do feel like, you know, there's a sense of restriction here that you don't want to restrict anymore. There's a sense of going back and forth that you don't want anymore, okay? You really want to break free from, I feel, this looping or this connection or whatever this is that has kept you stuck. And the good news is, is the devil is in the reverse. So for December, you might get a reprieve from this. Whatever this is mentally that has you keep going back to the dark side, you know. I feel like it, there, you know, whatever keeps pulling you into that energy needs to be released or will be released. Yeah. Because if it's not released soon... It's going to catch up with you. All right. And that could mean a possible tower moment in January. Come January. But it's like, you know, you're exploring all of this, you know, whether internally or emotionally, or some of you literally are kind of trying to find answers without asking. We are doing all of this, but not actually taking the action necessary to free yourself from this. So although I do feel that there is, at the end of December, a reprieve from it, like I said, I feel for some of you it's only going to be temporary um, because you still haven't figured out what you needed to figure out. And, you know, for others of you, if you're able to flip this energy you know, into the upright, oops, then that kind of changes everything. And what you need to do to do that is to act on, is, is to be more, um, I don't want to say aggressive, but be more direct, okay? So, you know, it, as opposed to trying to read between the lines, why not just say what you need to say or do what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? And, um, like uh, just being more direct, directive, uh, and, and what it is that, that this is in regards to versus being passive. Okay. I think that that will help break up this energy more, move things forward faster, but you know, you have free will, so you're going to do what you want. And I see a lot of you are just going to continue to contemplate, think it over, um, kind of do what you need to do uh, behind the scenes. And, uh, you know, there's no right or wrong. It's just how fast do you want to get out of the energy? I see that you want to be in control of the situation. You um, 
have a lot of blessings around you that you should should or will be showing gratitude towards. You're kind of dropping the ball uh, a little bit in mid-December. But I, like I said, I see a picking it back up or reprieve towards January. Um, so this is an interesting read, Scorpio. And I'm already 15 minutes in. Holy cow. So now I'm going to go to the person you might be dealing with. If you're not interested in that portion or you're not dealing with anyone in specific, you can go ahead and stop the reading there. Uh, for the rest of you, let's see, person Scorpio is dealing with, they have the overall energy of the Page of Cups, which talks about friendship. So some of you, this might be someone that you have a friendship with and or it's just the energy that this person's in where they are, you know, open to... Um, new connections during this time frame or open to friendships or you know it's kind of a youthful somewhat naive type of vibe it's like they're they're emotionally available but they're also not willing to like give it all either you know what i'm saying at least not at the beginning of this time period and then you have the eighth house of intimacy here so this person is, you know, their friendship circle is being highlighted during this time. Also their intimacy section, their, their more, uh, you know, passionate sexual side is being highlighted during this time frame. You know, they might be exploring as far as that goes or wanting to. Um, this also talks about mysteries and obsessions, which is interesting because in your energy, you had the mystified energy. So this could be the person that makes you think, you know, um, or there might be some sort of secretive energy surrounding this uh, situation or, yeah, something to do with that. So let's see. Scorpio. So this person is in the energy of the Ten of Swords. They're going through a lot of changes and maybe some very painful endings or had, had a painful ending with you for some of you because right next to it is the King of Cups. So most definitely this could have been with you whether you're a male or female. Um, but it also talks about not wearing their heart on their sleeve. So it's not something that this person is willing to uh, open up about or discuss. Like I said, I saw that this energy was more of like a surface level energy. Like, yeah, I'll talk or yeah, I'll open up, but only just the slightest bit, you know, like not, not fully willing to be vulnerable is what I feel. Uh, whether that's on your part or this person's part, I feel it heavily on this person's part, not wanting to do that. So, um, let's see. Ooh, that card shot out. Ooh. So then we have the chariot energy here. So moving forward from that, but also still looking back, you know. So I feel like this person likes to look back on the past a lot, past hurts, past issues past betrayals uh if those are some examples but they, they it's like they they move forward and they make progress and then they still kind of i don't know have like um they're still kind of carrying this around with them no matter how long ago it was no matter who did it to them and as i say they carry it around it's the ten of wands look at that person what is he doing he's carrying something heavy so, yeah, they, they kind of still carry that around to them to some degree, you know, or another. And um, somehow this person equates you. This is going to sound weird. Somehow this person equates you, their relationship with you, the circumstances around the relationship with you. They lump that into this Ten of Swords feeling. They, so something about you, Scorpio, triggers something in them that brings up things that they have not healed in themselves, whether that's good or bad, to be determined. Yeah. 
So I feel like this person is trying to balance themselves out, you know, in this energy. And I don't even think they realize that you are a catalyst. But then again, I feel their intuition has let them know already. Because here is the high priestess now, just flew out. You had the high priestess. So both of you are looking for the deeper meaning. Both of you are looking and reading in between the lines. You're kind of mirroring each other's energy here. Um, this person may also be very intuitive, very spiritual person uh, themselves. And or they're just good at, at they're good at unmasking or um, being able to see beyond what people tell them. Right? And then they have the tower card. Okay. So, and then the nine of pentacles. I think it's going to get too much for this person or it is too much for them. And so, you know, sometimes the walls come crashing down, right? When we built things on faulty foundations or when we took on too much or when we're carrying around too much of the burdens of the past, right? And so I do feel like this person is going to have a tower moment. And I, like I said, if you don't also move your energy along, I felt that there was a tower moment coming for you in January for this person. I see it in December, end of December, you know, just say, you know, yeah. Now, when the tower falls for this person, whatever that means for them, when it gets too much, when they have that break, when they have that breakdown, when they give in to all of these emotions they're carrying around, somehow it sets them free. So I feel like in a way, this manifests for them a newer energy, a revitalization. Um... I have a song in my head, and I love this song. Oh, it's on my, one of my playlists. It's called Song Cry by August Alina, I think. I'm not even sure if that's his name. It's <clears throat> He's not um, like a super famous... I mean, he's famous, but he's not like played out on the radio. But it's about... Um, the song goes... Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> That's somebody trying to call me. Um, the song goes, I can't hold back these tears, but I'm not supposed to cry. So I'm going to let the song cry. I'm going to let the tears roll down my cheeks. Mm-hmm. It's a good song. Basically, it's about a breakdown, you know, of, you know, uh, everybody knows this feeling when you push it down, you push it down, and you push it down for too long, and then it just bubbles up, you know, and that's what this is for this person. Um, and it doesn't have to be crying. It could be anger. It could be an outburst. It could be you know, something unexpected happening. That, that's just an example, but that song did come to mind. But I feel like also when we cry, when we have tears and we release it, it does something in the body. It's, it's like uh, we cry when the pain becomes so much emotionally we have to release, and it's nothing but a release of energy. And so... You know, after we have a good cry, you know, <laughs> no matter who you are, and we all cry, then it's almost like a relief feeling, especially if they had been bottling it in. And so I feel that, and I feel like once they're able to get it out uh, in whatever way that needs to be, and like I said, it doesn't have to be crying, it could be any way they need to get it out, then it manifests a new energy, a more um, independent energy, it releases that. And it makes them go into the Nine of Wands, which is surrendering to what they can't control. And what they can't control is the way that they feel. 
So they're going to let the song cry. I can't hold back these tears So I cry But a man ain't supposed to cry So I'm gonna let the song cry <laughs> It's a great song Actually, I just listened to that song recently Um <laughs> So, yeah, I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. If you would like extended readings or bonus or bonus readings, uh, you can become a member now by clicking the blue join button. Um, and I uh, get, you can get additional goodies over there. If not, that's fine. I'm just going to leave it there. You can subscribe, like, and share. And you can check out my Instagram, my Facebook, and my other YouTube page, all linked below, as well as my merchandise if you click on the pink hoodie. I'm wishing you the very best for the rest of December and until next time, Scorpio. Namaste.